Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And if you've been following the channel, you know that for the past couple of years, my go-to wallet has been the Maxpedition Micro Wallet. This is a great little bifold wallet, holds a lot of cards and information on the inside, um, IDs and things like that. Uh, it also holds cash on the outside. But for the most part, sometimes I find myself wanting to carry something a little bit more minimal in nature, um, maybe a front pocket wallet or something like that. So I came across this right here. This is the Ridge Wallet. Now this wallet right here is actually intended to um, minimize the amount of uh, cards and IDs and whatnot that you carry. Uh, it's a nice uh, elegant package and it's also RFID blocking, which is uh, a really cool option. So let me go ahead and open it up so you guys can see what it's all about. Now I opted to go for the aluminum version. Uh, they have a couple different finishes. They have aluminum, titanium, carbon fiber. And then they also have two different styles of wallet. They have one with the plastic strap to hold the cash, or they have one with the um, a money clip. So I decided to go with the strap. Again, it gives it a little bit more thin point factor. So here is the wallet itself. I'll go ahead and take it out of this plastic. And this is the black aluminum. Set that to the side for a second. They also include this um, screwdriver. It's a Torx screwdriver, which you go ahead and put together. Uh, it's pretty nice. So you guys can see there it says the ridge. And this is so if you need to tighten or adjust the different screws on the wall itself, you can do that. So that's really cool that they included that. I'll set that to the side. And here it is. Again, this is the black aluminum version with the elastic cash strap. So as you guys can see here, it has a semicircle, and that's designed to allow you to go ahead and push on it so you can get the cards out. So here is a little bit of information on the company. I, um, here's our website, theridgewallet.com. And then it gives you a couple of getting started instructions. So, wallet itself feels very, very sturdy, which is always nice. Uh, again, it's two slabs of aluminum. Uh, you have the screws on there, and then it also has the elastic kind of running through it. So it actually is able to go ahead and open up, uh, stretch out so you can fit all your cards. So I'll go ahead and load some cards in there. I have a couple of cards that I've already pre-ordered and these are the ones that I would normally carry um, as far as for a minimalist option so I have uh, five cards and IDs in there a total of five different things and as you guys can see it fits in really nice it doesn't add a lot of bulk to it uh, besides obviously just the size of the cards and then the two aluminum slabs on there then your semicircle on the bottom here on the back you have this um, elastic webbing and that's designed to go ahead and put the cash in there. Now you do have a couple options. You can either leave the cash open like this and fold it in half. The only problem that I see is that it kind of protrudes out the sides a little bit. So I choose to fold it into thirds and go ahead and slide it on there. Now there is um, enough slack to where you can um, put a lot more money in there if you needed to. I have five bills. So that's uh, pretty much what I would say would be my average carry as far as my minimalist option would go. So there it is. Now, when you do need to access the, the cards, all you do is press up on the semicircle there. It gives you a little bit of access. So if you wanna go ahead and access your first one, you can do that. Now, uh, if you wanted to access a card that was more towards the middle of the pile, again, go ahead and push on that. And what they suggest is that you pinch the two slabs right here and what that does is it allows the cards to kind of fan out and you're able to get into the ones that are in the middle. You can go ahead and do that. Once you're done, you can go ahead and replace it and slide them back in and you're good to go. Now, um, this has a little bit of considerable, uh, considerable weight to it, even though it is aluminum, but it's obviously due to the fact of, you know, once you have the cards and the cash on there, but it's, uh, it's a really awesome front pocket option. Again, if you want to be minimalist and uh, one of the big pluses is that the um, aluminum does have RFID blocking capabilities. So you don't have to worry about anybody kind of stealing your identity or anything like that. Um, this is great to slide into a front pocket. Uh, obviously it is very elegant looking in this uh, black aluminum. They do have um, a couple different color options in the aluminum. And then again, a couple different options in the finish uh, from aluminum to titanium to carbon fiber. And then you have your uh, elastic cash strap or you can have a, um, a pocket clip, which is really nice also, um, or a money clip, I should say. So it all depends on uh, you know what it is that you're looking for. So again, this is the Ridge Wallet. Here's their information again, theridgewallet.com. Uh, if you guys are interested, go ahead and check them out, see the different options they have, and let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.